here's a very interesting little area on my walk at Datchworth with the dogs who are looking for the ball and that can go through there. This is a little stream cut from and been protected uh, nicely to save the path but this is an overflow from the fields. Now this shows very clearly how a river forms and how it works. So as you can see in this straight area here there's a lot of water flowing through and then all of a sudden it hits an obstruction here and creates a change in the movement of the water coming around, depositing in the slack here. There's a stone here as well, it creates a blockage. So the water slows down and the smaller stones are deposited and the tiny little stones are left in the slower water here. If you imagine that as a river across there, then the water doesn't flow equal all the way through the middle. It flows by being resistance on the bank and resistance on the bed. Now, if there's an obstruction on the surface, again what happens is the river slows up, creates an area of slack water, which as you go further on you can see the bend here, look how it's becoming a zig, a, 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 an oxbow. You see how the river, if you imagine that on a floodplain, then this area here would be again called an oxbow lake. It's where the river cuts and then deposits all the sand and the silt here. So eventually the river gets down to the delta and at the delta is where all the heavy all the light material is deposited. But well, that's a fascinating little example here in Hertfordshire of what a river does.